have you all seen the latest little treat for dogs called Beggin Poppers? Actually, they're called Beggin Party Poppers. Buddy loves them. It's cool because when you take it out and you put it on here and then it pops out and it's supposed to go flying across the room. <laughs> we give Buddy one probably once a day, so. Oh, oh it's getting free. I'm going to ignore that comment. <laughs> yeah, okay, I have given him a couple. Anyway, Buddy is going wacko because he wants one for his What you do is you place it on, the, I guess this is the pig's mount. <laughs> you press it down, buddy. It's over here. And then you release. And then it goes flat across this. <laughs> and then buddy acts like he didn't get anything. You don't want to know he did. Okay. I am betting quite a few of you all have played the lottery this week or are going to play it for this Saturday. It is up to $800 million. What would you do if you won? What would be the first thing you would buy? <laughs> I think we have all had these daydreams, you know. If I was rich, suddenly rich, what would I do? with my newfound wealth. What would that first dollar be spent on? And I have to tell you, the first thing I would do, other than after I got a lawyer and a financial advisor and all that stuff, is I would give to, to God. I would give to charity, like a homeless shelter. I'm very passionate about that. I think it's very important to give to those in need. And of course I would help my family. My mother would get a new house, <laughs> if that's what she wanted. I would, uh, I have fun playing around in my mind about what would I do with all this money, you know. I, I daydream about getting the family together and saying, we're going to take a trip, you know. <laughs> it's fun to kind of daydream like that, but in reality, who knows how it would really be, but. I have a feeling we'd have friends coming out of the woodwork that we never knew we had. <laughs> this has been a long, miserable week. And I am so glad to have it behind me. I had a headache for three days. And it never let up during that three days. You know, it, first it started out as a little nagging headache, and then it just kept getting worse and worse. I took medication, and it didn't do anything for it, didn't touch it. Thursday, it finally went away after I took the day off from work. I didn't look at any bright lights on the computer screen. I just stayed in a dark room. I still took medication, but it, it didn't do anything. It just kind of had to go away on its own. And finally it did. I gotta tell you, I am so grateful to be pain free. <laughs> totally happy to be healthy and not feeling like crud. It feels good. I don't like headaches. I don't think anybody does, but I really hate them. Of course, I think being in pain in general is, it, it plain sucks. <laughs> being in pain just sucks. So, I'm very happy to not have a headache, to not be in any pain. It feels good. <laughs> On to other things. 
it's supposed to snow tomorrow. And I saw on the weather today, on the weather channel, that it was supposed to get bitter cold tomorrow. So we went to the grocery store today. So tomorrow, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> well, that's the end of the video. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a good old thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos, hit that subscribe button.